It is now Friday, July 18th at 9.20. I just woke up from a nap. I went out last night. And then I went, um, I went out last night and then I stayed the night at Jason's, got up in the morning, and then I worked. And I gotta work tomorrow. So, but uh, my ex called me and he said he was passing my house, even though he lives right down the street now from me. I'll explain that later, but this is an ex from a couple summers ago, and he said he wanted me to come give him a hug. So I am heading downstairs at 9.20 at night to the lobby of our building to give my ex a hug. Yeah. So you take full responsibility. I took full responsibility before. What are you talking about? I think you were as just I saying sit, that no. just to say that. As I said before. Back, to be honest, the more girls that I meet and I deal with, the more I take full responsibility. And I realized that it was me. It wasn't you. I was fine to make it you. But I was I was so like to be honest, it was probably more like I wasn't I was fine because I wasn't ready. For and a grown up relationship? For a grown up relationship, I can admit that. I was fine this I was making big you out of were, little Right. So. so you wanted to start arguments with me. Basically. You wanted me to be the, the bad guy. I picked, I picked that, so. Can I have it? What is that? You gonna give me a buddy hug? Cause you gave me some, what kind of hug are you trying to give like that? I don't know, I was just, don't ever put your long, retarded hands like that. <laughs> that is weird, that's, that is nothing sexy about your <laughs> hands. So you just said, breaking up with me, and you dating now, meeting girls now, made you realize that you messed us up. So make me understand how. Because then I look at how perfect you were. And Aww. all the that I was. Are you full of shit? No. Have I ever said that I ain't, you know what I mean? All the dumb shit I say out my mouth, shoot myself in the foot. That's true. Do you think I would say some bullshit? Yeah. Look, I say what I say, you know, it ain't no, you know what I mean? And you think I was perfect? Yeah. But, so and I don't understand how you go through these dudes and they not, I don't, and they're older than me. They should realize that a whole lot faster. I don't understand that. It's 10.02. It's still Friday. Um, I went down to the parking lot to talk to my ex. He's an ex from way back when. All right, not that long ago. Um, let's see, I guess three years ago, two, two summers ago. I don't know, it's been a while since we were in a relationship. He was in a relationship before, he was in a relationship actually before the athlete relationship. How's that? He's always wanted to get back, always. And he's never gonna give up. You gotta love the persistence. But he did say, um, I don't know, to give him another try, another try. And he wants to take me out to dinner. I don't go backwards. I love the fact that when I'm in a relationship with the guy, he shows his ass. He's a complete ass and does a whole bunch of and then when I break up, then they have time to marinate. And then they're like, you're the best thing I ever had. I can't believe I f***ed up. Give me another try. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. I don't know if it's all men. They always want to have a second chance or they want a second chance to ruin something. I don't know. I don't know. But he sounded sincere, believe it or not. I mean, I heard him out. I didn't say much. He said that he can't offer me things that most guys I date can offer. But he said he can make me happy and truly love me. And he says that he never met anyone ever since we broke up. He's never had a connection with someone. Anyway, 
Um, I told him that I would meet him for a drink across the street, so I just came back up here to change because I'm in Victoria's Secret sweats. I'm not going out in this. So, throw something on real quick, meet him for a drink. I'm supposed to go over, uh, I'm supposed to be sleeping. That's what I'm really supposed to be doing. I have to work out of town tomorrow, and I have to be up so early. Anyway. Let me change my clothes.